countdown. <laughs> top 10, but I give you one extra free one. Top 11 things to <laughs> think about um, in the during the break and into the new year. And these are things that we really kind of <coughs> kept coming back to over and over again, I think. So number 10, get outside yourself. And when I mean get outside yourself, it means just get outside of the left brain linear critical thinking, judging part. The part that is trying to dissect and annihilate you while you're trying to be in something. Just trying to be in something more. Your life completely. Try to just be in stuff more without editing, without judging, without censoring. Not just in class, you got to try to do it more in life. As you do it more in life, you start to do it more in class. It never gets completely turned off. That's why we have a left brain, left hemisphere, right hemisphere. But the joy comes in being able to remove yourself from all the junk, chatter, right? Try to do it more. Just immerse yourself. What's the worst that can happen is nothing bad at all. It's like complete absorption in the moment, the way we are really designed to be. Number nine, don't use absolutes anymore in your life. This is good for everybody. Like, it's always dot, 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 or I never, dot, dot, dot. Sound familiar, right? I can't, dot, dot, dot. Yes, you can. And it's not never. Sometimes things happen. It's not always. Don't think in absolutes. Number eight, this is so big. I, I lectured about it earlier this year. Uh, Margot Robbie talked about it, but many, many actors, everybody in the business talks about it, I think. Who was the first person to talk about it? Was William Golding, way back in like the 70s. You have to realize nobody knows anything. Mm -hmm. If you can get your head around that, that doesn't mean there aren't smart people, insightful people, people who can advise you and help you, but the truth is, is the person who knows is yourself. And what I like to think, I, th I thought of it another way, is another way to think about it is it's not, you, you know at least as much as the next person. If you could think about it in those kind of terms. And that obviously there's still stuff that we all need to know or we're learning or we're all evolving and progressing, but it's okay for you to create, to play, to have success, to be in love, to ha have deservement just right now with just what you know right now. You don't have to know more to be successful. Is that a light bulb? That should be. You don't have to know more to get a credit. You don't have to know more to be loved. So we just got to try to like evaporate this idea that everybody else knows something that you don't know. They don't. The good ones are trying to figure it out. <laughs> Number seven. This has been the theme of the year. Give me. This has been the theme. Be in a it. <laughs> Amy Adams said this. I lectured on this when I was in London. Amy Adams said this in the LA Times about uh, a breakthrough she had that she was talking about when they were interviewing her about the arrival that just came out. She says, I see when I stopped needing to be perfect, I stopped carrying the weight of criticism. I really was so tired of giving a because I just gave so many all the time. <laughs> Stop giving an knock. And what happens is it comes back to like point 10. You're going to be immersed in yourself and you're not going to worry so much about what you think other people think. Number six, questionable narratives. Listen, if we believe the things that we've been told, we would still believe that the, the earth is flat. Seriously, I think some people still believe that. And some of them may have voted for Donald Trump. My point is, you have to question, why do we believe the things that we're taught? It's conditioned beliefs. And listen, society and culture and uh, family and parents, adults, are doing the best they can with the information they have. But it still doesn't mean it's necessarily correct. You are an ever-evolving being. Don't let your way of thinking stop from second grade education. Please, you have to question the narratives and why you say the things that you say about yourself based in conditioned beliefs. Number five, it's similar to number nine, don't speak in ways that limit you. Try to stay away from the negative and stop diminishing yourself because you haven't made it yet. It's a big thing we've been talking about in all the classes this week. What does that mean anyway? What does making it mean? What does that mean? The older I get, I realize that is a fairy tale that somebody has perpetuated that, again, is a narrative I believe, that my life will finally happen when this. My life is happening now. Actually, the greatest portion of my life is happening and has happened. It's not going to happen once I fill in the blank. 